Welcome to Worship Christian Center today. Let us go before the Lord in scripture and then we'll pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord. Our scripture reading today will be coming from Leviticus. Leviticus, and we'll be reading from verse 1 to 6, and the word of the Lord reads as thus, Leviticus chapter 6, verse 1 through 6. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, If a person sins and commits a trespass against the Lord by lying to his neighbor about what was delivered to him for, self, for safe, safe keeping, or about a pledge, or about robbery, or if he has extorted from his neighbor, or if he's found what was lost and, die, and lies concerning it, and swears falsely in any one of these things that a man may do it which he sins. Then it shall be because he has sinned and is guilty that he shall restore what he has stolen, or the things which he has extorted, or what was delivered to him from for safekeeping, for the lost thing which he found, and all that which he has sworn falsely. He shall restore its full value, add one-fifth more to it, and give it to whomever it belongs on the day of his trespass offering. And the word of the Lord is blessed. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Let us go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. Oh, Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for your love, your grace, your mercy, and your kindness, Father God. We thank you, Father, for loving us this morning enough, Lord God, to give us another opportunity to be in the land of the living, Lord God. As we come before you in prayer, Lord God, we come before you most humble as we know how. Oh, God, asking you, Father God, to forgive us of all of our sins, Father God, as we stand before you most humble as we know how. Forgive us, Father God, of our sins of commission, sins of omission. Mission. Anything that we said or done or thought, Father God, that was not pleasing in your sight, Father, as we humble ourselves before the throne of grace, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving, enter into your courts with praise. Oh, Father God, we love you, Father, so we exalt your name on high, oh God, because you are the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. With you, all things are possible, and without you, we would fail. Oh God, with you, we are more than conquerors, oh God, so we, ex we, ex we exalt your name, oh Lord God. We praise your name, Lord God. We adore you, O oh God. We admire you, O oh God, for all that you are, O oh God, because you are the king of all kings, the author and the finisher of our faith, our beginning and our end, O oh God. You are the creator of all things, Lord God, and there will be nothing without you, O oh God. O oh God, you created the heavens and the earth, O oh God, and all they that dwell therein, O oh God. So there is nothing too hard for you, O oh Father. You are able to do above all anything that we can ever ask or think, O oh God. With you, all things are possible, not just little things, not just little, little, little things, Lord God. You perform supernatural healing, oh God. You perform miracles, Lord God, miracles upon miracles, signs and wonders, Lord God. When someone is pronounced dead, Lord God, you say not so, oh God. So for, God, for that, oh Lord God, we say thank you. Oh, Father God, we thank you, oh God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for doing all that you do, oh God. If you don't do nothing else for your people today, oh God, just don't leave us, Lord God. Just don't leave your Holy Spirit from us. Don't take your Holy Spirit from us, oh God, because nothing becomes, nothing comes between us and thee, oh God. Oh God, you said you would never leave us nor forsake us, oh God. You are with us always, Father God. So we thank you, God. We thank you, God, because you are our deliverer. You, you are our redeemer. You are our way oh God. You are our Savior, Lord God. Oh God, you pronounce us friends, oh God. Friends unto you, Lord God. You just ask that we worship you, Father God, in spirit and in truth, oh God. You just ask, hallelujah, that we have a main conversation with you, oh God. We maintain a relationship with you, oh God. We love our neighbors that we love ourselves, oh God. How can we love the God that we cannot see? And I love our neighbors who we can, oh God. So you ask us, hallelujah, to 
love you and love our neighbors as well, oh God. That is the greatest command, oh Father God. Because all that sin is born short of the glory of God. Oh God, no way is just a sin to death, oh God. But the gift of God is eternal life, oh God. So we thank you, Father God, for watching our sins away, oh God. But dying on Calvary, oh God. And we're all to do the third day, oh God. Say we can have a life and life and a life, oh God. So we thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you. Father, because if it wasn't for the life of Jesus, oh God, well, our life would be in vain, oh God. His life and death would be in vain, oh God. So we thank you, God. Because you are our only living Savior, oh God. You are our one and only living Savior, oh Father God. You are our Jehovah's God, our Jehovah's Nisia, our Jehovah's Tithio, our Jehovah's Rapha, our Jehovah's Elohim, oh God. You are our Jehovah's Shalom, oh Father God. You are our banner, our peace. In all our ways, oh God, we trust you with our whole heart, our whole mind, our whole soul, oh God. We acknowledge you in all our ways, oh Father God, because we know that you would direct our path. Oh God, today, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to lead God and direct us in the way that we need to go, oh God. Make our crooked ways straight, oh God. Shift our mindsets, oh God, so that we can say on you, oh God, because you are the author and the finisher of our faith, oh God. Without faith, it is impossible to believe God. Father, for strengthening our faith in you, God, because this is Abraham, O oh God, and he patiently endured, he obtained the promise, O oh God, so we thank you, Father, strengthen our endurance, O oh God, you said as we wait on the Lord, you shall renew our strength, O oh Father, God, so we renew our strength today, O oh God, we refill us, O oh God, we restore us, we refresh us, and we refine us, O oh God, like a refined fire, O oh God, O oh God, we thank you, God. Oh God, we thank you, Father God. And we will not hesitate to give in the praise and honor and the glory. Oh Father God, we pray, oh God, for our bishops and our Wesley Rivers. Oh God, and our Lady Tamika Rivers, oh God. We pray, oh God, for their children and their grandchildren, oh Father God. We pray, oh God, that you will bless them, oh God. Restore to them all the years that they take them from the palm of the caterpillar. Has stolen from them, oh Father God. Oh God, give them, oh God, new life, new strength, and new health, oh God. Restore every Oh God. 
oh God, be magnified, be exalted, oh God, be exalted in our lives, oh God, be exalted in your service, oh God, be exalted in our hearts, oh God, oh God, be exalted as our King, be exalted as the lover of our souls, be exalted as a propitiation for our sins, oh God, be exalted, oh God, for the God that you are, be exalted for the God that you will always be, God, be exalted, oh God, for you are the God of heaven, you are the creator of heaven and earth, God, so we command our souls, and we command our hands, and we command our hearts to bless the name of the living God. Oh God, we worship you, and we respond, and we respond. Worship Christian center respond to the presence of the living God. Oh God, beside you there is no other. Here, oh worship Christian center, the Lord our God is one Lord. And beside him there is no other. He's still healing, so we bless you. You're still delivering, so we lift you up. You're still saving, so we worship you. Come on and release the worship. I command my soul. I command my body. I command myself to praise him. For who you are and for who you will always be. For who you've always been. You are the God of glory. You are the saving of sinners. You are the forgiver. You are my restorer. You are the lifter up of my head. You are the strength of my life. You are my provider. You are my restorer. You are my healer. So I worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many know that the Lord our God is awesome? He's awesome. He's awesome. Worship Christian Center. He's awesome. Can we put our hands together?
strong and mighty to Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, propitiation. Jesus, Jesus, my healer is strong. Jesus, Jesus, my best friend say Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, my healer, my protector. Jesus, Jesus.
was seeking defense. I was seeking to ride no more. But the master of the sea, you heard the nation cry. You heard our despairing cry. The cry says, God, I won't make it. The cry says, God, I can't take it. The cry says, God, I feel, I feel so alone. But your love came and found me. Your love came and rescued me. Your love came and found me. I got good news. You're safe now.
control You're the one you love You lifted me Somebody press fast, press fast. 
Press into it. Press into your next. Press into your next. Believe a promise for today. Come on, sound man, give me some more. Press into your next. Press into your next. Press into your promise. Come on, somebody. Open your mouth and begin to give him praise. God, oh, if you know where you're going, open your mouth and give him praise. I refuse. Come on, somebody. To stay in the same place. Open your mouth and just praise him. Praise him on today. I hear him say, Praise him. Worship me. And when you're praising and worshiping, that must mean you're trusting. Tell somebody, Trust the Lord today. Trust the Lord today. You didn't bring me this far to leave me. Somebody get, get serious about it. Hide behind the cross. Hide behind it. And tell him I trust you today. I trust you today. I trust you today. With everything that's going on, tell him that I trust you for my next. Trust you for my next. Oh, come on, prophesy to yourself. Prophesy to your situation. And tell them greater is coming. I said, prophesy to yourself. And tell them greater is coming. Greater is coming. Greater is coming. I refuse to stay in a season of misery. I refuse to stay in a season of doubt. But tell them greater is coming, greater is coming. Tell them neighbor, prepare for greater. Prepare for greater. Prepare for greater. Prepare for greater. Prepare for it, prepare for it. Prepare for it. God gonna do it. I said God gonna do it. He's a mystery God. He says great is the mystery of God. And y'all ain't saying that here. God gonna do it. You don't see how it's gonna get worked out. You don't see how the bills gonna get paid. You don't see how the things are gonna come to pass. But I tell you, tell somebody God's got some doors for you. You. God's gonna work it out. I need you to believe it. I need you for to believe it. I need you for 60 seconds. Just after I say it, go into a praise. Now this, I know they're gonna play the music, but I want you to minister to yourself. And, and I said in 60 seconds, I want you to minister to yourself that greater. It's coming out of this. I need you to prophesy in this next praise. This next praise is for my after effect. Tell somebody this is my praise for what's going to happen after. I dare you to praise him. One, two, three. Praise him if you believe it. That this is my Season. God missed it. 
you because after this, greater is coming. Greater is coming. Like y'all know what's going to happen. Now I need about five, and then, and then I'm going to leave you alone. I need about five Holy Ghost still people. That says, I'm destined for greater after this. And if you, but I said, I need about five Holy Ghost still people that can encourage themselves and say that greater is coming after this. If that's you, whether you be in the building or online, I need you to stop praising him right now. Nobody else. And tell them greater. 
is coming out of you. Hey, oh, help us here. You better speak to yourself. Greater is coming out of you. Now look over at your neighbor and point at him. Tell him, neighbor, I don't mean to be loose, but tell him, I prophesy our greater is coming out of you. Tell him, greater is coming out of you. For Jesus says in his words, I am a close Let not your heart be troubled. Y'all ain't saying that to me. That's a prophetic word right there. Let not your heart be troubled. Tell somebody, let not my heart be troubled. You don't see it yet, but after. Y'all still missing it here. Tell them, but after. Lord, I believe him in this place. Tell them, but after. It, 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 it may look excused now. It may look incomplete now. It may look like it ain't gonna work. But tell somebody, after. After the Holy Ghost. Upon me, you are not saying that in here. Prophesy to yourself and tell them my heart is going to be fixed from my troubles. If you believe in this praise and sit down, Because you'll find God in your praise. Tell your neighbor, are you ready for the next level? God, I'm not saying that in here. Tell somebody, are you ready for your next level? Tell somebody, God has promised you. Look at him and tell him they, they got a promise on about you. Tell them, God has promised you new life. Tell them, no, no. I said, new life. God has, who want new life? Y'all ain't saying. That means you got to leave some things behind now. I'm going to leave it there because... I don't think that people want new life. I come that you might have life. Y'all ain't even living yet. Tell somebody you ain't living yet. You ain't living your best life yet. Tell your neighbor you ain't living your best life yet. He told that lady at the well, you ain't living your best life yet. <laughs> 
before was that was the great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer unto the altar. And giving it, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, oh, What shall I give thee? And Solomon said, Thou hast shown unto thy servant David, my father, great mercies according as he's walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. Thou hast kept from him his great kindness. Thou hast given him a son to sit on the throne as it is this day. And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David, my father. And I am but a little child, I know not how to go out or come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered, nor counted for the multitude. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able, for who is able to judge this thy so great people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast thou riches for thyself, nor hast thou the light of thy enemies. But thou hast asked for thy understanding to discern judgment. Verse 12, Behold, I have done according to thy words. No, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee show any rise like unto thee. As we pray God's word, Lord, do it again. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may have your seat. I want to talk, amen, just a few moments, amen. I promise you, I'm trying to get you out. I know some of didn't come because of the cold, but cold don't stop me. And if it did, I don't have no choice in the matter. Uh, tell somebody, amen, amen. offline, but not off touch. I'm just kidding, tell them offline, but not out of touch. Offline, but not out of touch, excuse me. Because sometimes, amen, we can come feel off from things that we go through in life. Jesus says it in John 10 and 10, but I just heard a few moments ago. He said that I come that you might have life and that you might have it abundantly. Jesus speaks this, amen, because the people are perplexed. Life has become very challenging. And for Christians, for believers, it has become a little complex. The Jews, amen, have too many laws, amen, that they're trying to abide by. It's impossible for them to abide by so many laws. It's over 300 laws that they, amen, have to abide by. So it becomes a little complex. You know how people are, oh, you did this, you did that according to the law, and you didn't do right. So it's become a little complex. So therefore, life becomes a little bit more challenging. Gentiles, because they have so many different uh, uh, religiosities, they have so many different amen, uh, uh, sacrimonial things that they require, it's become a little bit more challenging. So Jesus comes at a time to where life now, for most of us, it has become challenging. Life has become overwhelming, and who can keep all the laws, as, as they were saying? Who can do all these things? Because, amen, you would get cut off if you didn't keep, amen, a certain posture as a believer. So therefore, he comes now uh, uh, to, to make sure that they that are following him, amen, can understand that he is truly the way. He is truly the door. So he therefore, he decrees and he declares in this obscure time, listen to the people of God, it is obscure time when you're going through some things, amen, and, and, and you want so much from God, but you got so many different laws and so many different bylaws and so many different things that is sent to you that you're really not experiencing life. Not the life that God, amen, has planned for you and I. The enemy, we know the devil comes, amen, so what, and he will take away the life that God promises to his people. He will come, amen, and serve you with so many different uh, 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 things in your life to where uh, uh, you, you begin to get downhearted and you walk away. 
Jesus comes down and he amen, makes a defiant uh, uh, message. He makes a defiant statement. Amen. And he tells him, amen, that I have come. Yes. That you might have the life. Oh, you're not saying that to me. And have it more abundantly. And so when we hear that scripture, amen, we get real excited. Uh, but but there's, uh, there's, there's a misconception of how we receive it. Some of the phrases that we're listening to in the Bible, amen, we will listen to the phrases, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, but when it prospers, when it, when it, when it formed, amen, it runs us away. The test. So the Bible finds us now in First Kings where, amen, David, at one time was the king, I got the Bible readers here, and, and, and David now, amen, uh, uh, has, has a son called Solomon. Yeah. And, and you know, amen, after uh, 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 Bathsheba and after the things that has been done, and, and you know we go through some life circumstances. Amen. And sometimes, amen, it's to the point to where you believe that things are over. It's not going to be as, as good as it should be. But tell somebody after this, after this, even after David, God has said that to me here. That's why you cannot allow people, amen, in circumstances that you're going through, amen, to, uh, to, to discount you after this. People will cut you off and sometimes you'll cut yourself off and, and you won't think of yourself of being anything greater than God after circumstances that goes on in your life. But even after the David sin with Bathsheba, oh God, y'all still missing it, that God is so merciful. That's something that you really know God. Because some folks, amen, after they, amen, they heard your rumors, after they heard your story, after they heard, amen, uh, uh, things that you have done, they will literally cut you off. So you're not going to see that you're not, amen, cross, because you're not going anywhere. And, and, and that's why you can allow people, amen, and circumstances, amen, to, uh, to, to, to disqualify you from life. Amen. Because there still is a life after you. There's a life even after you. If you cut me off, there's still a life after you. Y'all still like saying that to me. If people were man discounting me, they think, amen, that nothing was going to come greater, amen, out of me. Amen, I thank God that there's still an after this. There's still an after this. I believe, amen, that there's still a greater door for me. Tell somebody there's still a great door for you because the Bible tells us, amen, could we get caught up with too many things? But the Bible says, great is the mystery. Of godliness. Y'all still missing it here. That we don't really know him like we think we do because amen, even after all of this, David amen, is still qualified because amen, he has a son called Simon and he names of Solomon with the sheep of the same person he fell with. Now amen, God, amen, even though he was offline, he was still not out of time. Still knew how to get back in the grace of God. Y'all saying that to me. How to get back in the grace of God. So when people try to cut you off, amen. When it look like if you're off mind to some people, oh, you got to still remind them, amen. But I'm still not out of touch with God. Because if I come to Him, amen, and ask Him for a clean heart and to renew the right spirit within me, oh, God, God, y'all saying that to me. God will put me right back in place, amen. Right back in time, amen. That's why you got to worry about what that happened, amen. amen. You gotta let that stuff go. You gotta look forward to the promises of God. The Bible says, amen, that now Solomon, amen, is the king. He tells David, that there's too much blood on your hand, but I'm going to still bless, amen, your, amen, your bloodline. Come on, somebody. I'm going to still make sure, amen, that the blessings come, amen, from your bloodline. And that's why we still pray in God, because there's still some greater things in us, amen, no matter, amen, what my family did, my father did, my mom did, there's still promises in me. Come on, somebody. God, they don't cut me off for God, and Solomon now, amen, it has, amen, after all of that his father has done, God has still been good enough, amen, to make Solomon king over great people. He's made Solomon, amen, a, a, a proprietor of his promise that he gave to his daddy's daddy's daddy in Abraham. Y'all still ain't saying that in here. You just need prophecy can carry it. That's why you gotta be real careful how you speak, amen, about yourself, amen, because you could be, amen, cursed in your own bloodline. You could be contaminated with some things that's inside of you, amen, and you don't know what's coming after it. That's why, amen, can you look at some of that stuff even after this? God is Still, amen, all the 
Father. We got to make sure because it's the end of this plan for us to look at our life, amen, and cut ourselves off. It's the end of this plan to make sure that we don't believe, amen, that we'll ever, amen, have what God wants us to have. That's why, amen, it may look like at times, amen, your money is off, your money is still insane to me. It may look like things, amen, is off in your life, amen, but just be mindful, amen, of staying in touch with God. The Bible says, amen, because of this now, amen, that Solomon goes in and builds the temple. Solomon goes in and makes an agreement with Pharaoh's order as we hear in the Bible. But the Bible says, amen, that because Solomon has this next level in his life, and I share with you today, amen, that if you're ever, amen, going to have that next level in your life, if you're ever going to go higher, you're going to need something, amen, more to